Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and this is my son Ben. And today we have the whiskey.com awards 2020. Mm -hmm. A claimer, disclaimer first, um, these whiskies are not the best whiskies available in 2020. These whiskies are the whiskies we found to be the best we tasted. So yes. we tasted just 200, 250 whiskies this year, and there are thousands out there. So this is the best whiskies we had in the last year. Mm. So the first one was one that you had. Yeah, so this is mm. my prey. <laughs> uh, this is a medium peated uh, whiskey from the Ardmore distillery and it was finished in port casks. So that's what I like. Export Not barrels finished in European port casks. Cask. And that is, you have this port wine characteristic, you have a not too intense smokiness, and this together is just fabulous. And this one is not that expensive. It's below 40 or around 40 mm -hmm. euros, dollars, pounds, wherever you live. Mm -hmm. I haven't tried it yet, so I, I'm really interested in, in this whiskey. Uh, yeah, how, how it is. So a, a medium taste, uh, smoky whiskey with a lot of port influence. That that sounds really really interesting. The next one is a really yeah, it, it's definitely the one that we had, one of the best that we had this year. I think it was in the advanced ta live tasting, and we gave it two awards mistakenly. <laughs> <laughs> it was, and we wanted to have it give it two, one award, but. It somehow it just snuck into another award and um, yeah, but the thing is, it is really good. So the the decision uh, line is pretty clear when you can remember it uh, from I think a month before. Uh -huh. <laughs> then the Bushmills is just yeah, it's a really good whiskey. Uh, the only thing you c may criticize is that it's only forty percent ABV, mm. uh, but as soon as you have the second sip. You forget the 40% because then the triple cast maturation just builds up on your tongue and everything of the missing alcohol in the start uh, is gone. Mm -hmm. And it's really a reasonable price, below 100. Um, and this makes it for an Irish whiskey with an age statement, a higher age statement, just a bargain. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, uh, the next one, Tullibardin, is a one. new whiskey from this year. So it came out, I think, in July or something? Probably Somewhere around there. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's a, a wonderful new whiskey from the Tullibardin distillery. And we already had a bit of a discussion from when the whiskey com uh, comes. Uh, the distillery reopened in 2003, if I remember right. Mm -hmm. And uh, this whiskey is now... Uh, 15 years old means 2005. No, it appears this year, so it must be 2004. <laughs> and uh, we don't know uh, whether there are 2000, vintage 2003 in it or not. Yes, so the, the thing is, they probably have a good cask selection of casks because they can use uh, very early 2005. They can use 2004 and they could use 2003. But I imagine that they will have that 2003 uh, in their warehouses to bring out an 18 year old or a 21 year old. Yeah. So these first casks are very, very valuable to a distillery. Yeah. But because they waited one and a half years uh, longer than the 15 years, they have more cask selection yeah. mm -hmm. to select from and get a really good flavor profile. And you really find that in the Tully Barden 15. And what is remarkably is that they didn't brought out a 12 year old. They waited and then they mm -hmm. brought out a 15 year old. And the years before they had those finishing casts, the 228 mm -hmm. and how they all were called um, in, in focus without an age statement. So they really waited until they were able to bring out that 15 year old. Yeah, Very and it's a, it's a really good whiskey. Yeah. Next one is yours. Yeah, this is, I underestimated it. And if you look at the level in the bottle, <laughs> uh, so <laughs> friends of mine and relatives and myself, uh, we had uh, some drams uh, over the ho holiday season. And Milton Duff is not very well known to the public. It's a distillery uh, for the uh, blend whiskey industry. 
and uh, Gordon McPhail, the independent bottler from Elgin, uh, they bottled this whiskey 10 years of age. And I think they have quite a history in bottling that. And here they have a sherry influence, a big, big sherry influence in it. And that is a typical Speyside. And together that is a really a round and wonderful whiskey. Yeah. And unfortunately, uh, it's this batch uh, is limited, but I think there will be more batches. And if they have the their normal supply chain filled, uh, then they should have the same whiskey uh, when the, uh, this batch is gone, they will have enough whiskey to bring a close to identical batch out on the market. This is a 43% ABV whiskey uh, in the Old Connoisseur's Choice series, where the Discovery series is the successor of. Uh, they had uh, between 40, 43 and 46% ABV. And this one is uh, 43. Yeah, mm -hmm. very, very good. Mm -hmm. I like it and it's not too expensive. It's not too expensive. Yeah, so I, I, I didn't think that we would have a, a independent bottler in here, but you never know. So yeah, yeah sometimes they're really, really good. The well, last sometimes one, they typically are really, really good, but uh, the, the the quality is, is changing due to the cast because they have a mm -hmm. smaller selection of casks. Yeah. So yeah, the the these uh, these independent bottles uh, are more like gems. The others are really high class from mm -hmm. a master blender put into perspective and yeah. uh, thought of in a longer process blended together and these are just okay this is the right moment for this cask let's let's bottle it mm -hmm. uh, the next one is again uh, highly uh, blended and created whiskey and it's a, a really good one and i think we had the triple cask 18 year old last year or yeah, or it was in the 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 nomina <laughs> final nominations where we discussed and uh, this year it came out with the a double cask uh, 18 year old and it's really 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 good but also really expensive really expensive yep. yes so we had the 12 year old double cask and the 18 year double cask on the short list and well because these are the best disregarding the price we took the 18 year old but if you would have said let's decide which one of the distillery uh, we t as well tasted uh, would have the best price re uh, value relationship than the 12 year old would have made it because yep. the price is so extraordinarily high the 18 year old wouldn't have made it but uh this year we have a pretty cheap selection yeah they were not affordable too affordable yeah that's the <laughs> word um except for for the mcallen they are not really that over high priced mm -hmm. very very old so I would say the average age is about 14, 15, except mm -hmm. for the McAllen. So 15 with the McAllen. And it's, uh, yeah, it's nice. Yeah. It's nice. But uh, remembering from the, the short list that we created, where we said, okay, this one doesn't make it, this one doesn't make it. Um, we, we had a f bit less expensive whiskeys this year. So there were a few gems in there, but... There were or expensive ones in there, but they didn't make it. Yeah, I'm I'm qu quite satisfied from from what we have, and I will try the art back then about now. Okay, yeah, that was it. Uh, please write down in the comment what was the best whiskey you had this year, which would give you your award. And yeah, thank you very much for watching, and uh, see you next time.